Hi everyone, Catherine Grill here. I'm the CEO and one of the founders of Neos. In this video today, I'm going to walk you through how to explore Neos student stories section. This section is in our community module and it's really a fantastic section that has students from all walks of life sharing their personal lived experience with mental health and wellness to break down stigma for other students. It's fantastic, it's well loved, and I'm gonna share my screen and just walk you through how to explore this part of our app. So I signed into Neil's educator platform on cloud.neil.com. I clicked into the community tab. You'll see there are two parts, expert advice, which I explain in another video, and student stories. Just click on student stories and you'll see them all load on your screen. If you just want to explore this section, you can scroll down and you can start to see all of the content that's in here. Different things that might be trending with students across the country. Recently added, keep in mind we're adding new content throughout the month so you can always go here and see what's the latest. Or you can just scroll down and see more topics. Scrolling through is great if you have some extra time and you just want to explore what sort of content is in this library. Now, a lot of people ask us, who are these students? Where is this content coming from? So all of these students are part of Neil's internship or ambassador program. Your students can actually apply for it if they want, uh, but students apply for the program and they're accepted and they work with our team of behavioral health specialists to make content about an area that's important to them. All this content is moderated before it goes live. So it's not like any student can come on here and post whatever they want. It is moderated content. If you want to find something quickly, I like to use the filters here on the left hand side. So if I'm looking for a specific topic that I want to talk about in the classroom. Some of our schools are working on healthy relationships this year, you can click on that topic and you'll see all of the content for that topic appear on your screen. You can click into video. Or a blog post you'll see some of them are written. And you'll see that some of them are video. Just hit play to play the video. You can see a description to learn a little bit more about it. You can play a one off video or you can actually scroll through the series and play all of the episodes in the series. You can see how long each video is. So that can help you plan on how to use these in the classroom. Some of our videos are about more serious topics. You'll see this one is about grief and loss, which is something we've been hearing from a lot of schools and students since the pandemic that it's important to them that they want to talk about this. Some of them might just be about dealing with everyday life in school and, you know, being a high school student and time management. So you can decide which content is best for you and your students, and you can really explore this library to find, you know, what content is out there. Beyond using these topic filters, you can also search for a specific content creator or a student who made a blog or a video series. There might be somebody that your students really resonate with. This one, for example, this is a series from a student athlete. So you can click on that name and see all of the content in their series. You can also use these time filters here on the bottom, or if you're looking for a media style, maybe you want something that's just a, um, a video, maybe you want something that's a written blog, you can search that way as well. If there's some content that you really like, you can just hit this star button here. You can favorite it, and that will actually add it to your favorites tab here. So that'll be an easy way for you to find that video in the future. Just go back into the student story section, go to your favorites, and you'll be able to see that video, maybe play it in multiple sections of a certain class. 
So again, these videos and blogs are all from real students who work at NEOF. The content is moderated by behavioral health specialists, but it's a fantastic way for your students to hear from real students across the country about what's going on in their lives, how they got help from an adult, and really how they were working on improving their mental health and wellness. Uh, we've seen in research that these videos can help reduce stigma in as little as three weeks, and it's a great way to get the conversation about mental health started in the classroom. So we hope you enjoy our student story section, and I'll see you next time.